actually out on my first bike ride of 2024 and I'm on my first bike ride with the new Insta360 X3 and I'm using it as my primary camera so we're just gonna go out and get a little video also I think I finally got the Jixxers problems all worked out as you guys know a couple of videos back I was having a stumbling problem and I posed some questions to the subscribers and viewers asking what my problem could be. And one of my friends saw the video and called me. He lives in Detroit also. He says, hey, Kenny, you might want to check your TPS. And I also did a video of that. I checked the TPS and it wasn't calibrated right. So I recalibrated the uh, TPS. And when I started that TPS up, uh, the bike started and ran smoother on startup, but when I took the bike out for a ride, it was still bogging down. Once I got to 4,000, it would pick up. Once I got to 8,000 RPMs, it would bog down. So, I thought it was a fueling problem. So, what I did is I pulled the fuel injectors and I pulled the rail I cleaned the rail out and so I had a fuel injector cleaner kit that I had bought. Now that fuel injector kit includes a plastic tube that you put on a can of carburetor cleaner and these two electric leads and you simply tap the electric leads to a battery of sort and it pulsates the injectors and pushes all the crap out. So I did that. Um, and then I reinstalled the fuel rail after cleaning it and installed the injectors. The injectors. And lo and behold, took the bike out, no more stumbling. And uh, let me show you what it does. running better than it ever has. I've only had the bike for nine months and correcting the, T the TPS calibration and cleaning out those injectors has made it just a different bike. <laughs> Let me stop. These tires are cold. It's cold outside. It's only like about 37 degrees here in Detroit, Michigan. But I am so happy. I am so happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was a right decision to uh, calibrate the TPS and clean those injectors out. It makes, it makes a world of difference. Now let me speak to you a little bit about the Insta360 X3. And I hope you guys can hear me because whenever, time, whenever you get a new mic or a new camera, there's going to be a period, a period of adjustment. So I'm hoping you guys can, can hear me. Um, yeah. Now, dealing with this 360 um, X3 camera, Definitely edit and you film in a 
different way. You have to have a different mindset on when you're filming and editing. It's almost like the Insta360 is a B-roll camera uh, for feel in your video. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so I am using it as a primary camera, but it does allow to have me 360 degree if I want to. But like I said, I mainly bought the camera to replace the GoPro and act as my main um, motorcycle vlogging camera. As you can see in front, I'm still using my Casio line of cameras um, as a secondary camera or primary, depends on how I want to shoot. When you're using the Insta360, you have to think in a very creative way. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, like I said earlier, it's it's a primary camera, but when you use the 360 function, to me, you're just it's like a B-roll camera where you're you're telling the story and you're just giving different angles on you know of the story and that's what the 360 allows you to do is to give different angles when you're doing your storytelling.